Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about polynomial long division where we're missing terms. And we're specifically going to look at dividing into a polynomial with missing terms in this example. So sometimes we're going to face a division problem where our divisor, dividend, or both are missing terms. Okay, so basically when this happens, we're going to use zero as the coefficient for each missing term because zero acts as a placeholder here just as it does in our number system. So let me kind of give you an example here. Let's say that we had negative 20 plus 4x cubed plus 24x squared. And we want to divide this by 4 plus 4x. So as you know from previous videos on long division of polynomials, we know that the first thing that we want to do is write each polynomial in standard form. So to do that, if we look at this first polynomial here, well I know I need 4x cubed out in front, then I need plus 24x squared, and then I need minus 20. But if you look here, I'm kind of missing, I'm missing an x term, okay? So I'll kind of show you the solution for that in a minute. I kind of told you in the beginning, we're going to put a zero for the coefficient for that. So then we're dividing this by, okay, we're dividing this by four plus four X. So I just switched the order there to four X plus four so that it's in standard form. So I'm missing my X term. So when I go ahead and I set up my long division, I'm going to need to change the way this looks. Not gonna change the value, but just the way that it looks. So I'm gonna put a 4x cubed plus 24x squared. Then where I'm missing my x term, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put plus zero x, okay? What is zero times x? Well, it's zero. So I haven't changed the value of this polynomial. Again, I've just changed the way that it looks, okay? So then I'm gonna continue with just minus 20. So this is going to go underneath my division bar. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put 4x plus 4 out here on the side, just like I've always done. Okay, Nothing else is going to change. So again, when terms are missing, you're going to use 0 as the coefficient for each missing term. Okay, So now we're just going to divide like we normally have. And so we're going to take leading term here into leading term here. So 4x goes into 4x cubed that's gonna go x squared times. So the x squared, again, keep in mind place value, it's gonna go right here. Okay, this is where my x squared is gonna go. And let me kind of move this out of the way. X term. So now we're gonna multiply x squared times four x is four x cubed. X squared times four is gonna be plus four x squared. Remember, we're subtracting this away, so what I can do is I can just change the sign of each polynomial, so this will become negative, and this will become negative. And now we can add 4x cubed minus 4x cubed is zero. 24x squared minus 4x squared is going to give me 20x squared. Now I want to bring down this next term, which is plus zero x, okay? And again, we want to do leading term, which is 4x, into leading term, which is 20x squared. So think about 20 divided by 4, that's 5x squared over x is x. So this is going to give me 5x. So 5x is going to go right here. Okay, this is the place for the x. Remember, remember the place value that we got to respect here. Okay, this is x to the first power here. This is going to be x to the first power there. All right, so now we multiply. 5x times 4x is gonna give me 20x squared. 5x times four is gonna give me 20x. Now remember, we're subtracting this away, so we're gonna change the sign of each term here. And now we add 20x squared minus 20x squared is zero. 0x zero plus, or 0x minus 20x squared is gonna give me negative 20x. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna bring down my next term, which is negative 20. Scroll down a little bit here. And now again, I'm doing the same thing. Leading term into leading term. So leading term into leading term. 4x goes into negative 20x how many times? Well, we know it's gonna be negative. And then 20 divided by four is five x over x is 1, so this will be negative 5. So that goes right here. Remember to respect your place value, so minus 5. And then we multiply. Negative 5 times 4x is negative 20x. And then we have negative 5 times 4, which is negative 20. And again, change the sign of each term that you're subtracting away. So we have negative 20x plus 20x, that's 0. We have negative 20 plus 20, that's 0 as well. So we're not going to have a remainder here. So our answer, or our quotient, ends up being x squared plus 5x minus 5. Okay, so let's write our answer. Again, it's x squared plus 5x minus 5. So let's check this. Remember, if there's no remainder, basically all you need to do is multiply your quotient, which is this right here, and this is the quotient, by your divisor. And you're going to get this back, the dividend. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to have x squared plus 5x minus 5. And we're going to multiply that by 4x plus 4. So what's that going to give us? x squared times 4x is going to give me 4x cubed. 5x times 4x is going to give me 20x squared. Negative 5 times 4x is going to be negative 20x. Then we have 4 times x squared. That's going to be plus 4x squared. 4 times 5x is going to be plus 20x. And then 4 times negative 5 is minus 20. So if we combine like terms, nothing to combine with 4x cubed. We'll keep that as it is. We have 20x squared and 4x squared. That's going to be plus 24x squared. Then we have 20x and minus 20x which combined to be 0x, which you can put in at this point, you can put plus 0x, or you can just leave it out. It doesn't matter because it's really just, again, a placeholder. Then lastly, we have minus 20. Okay. So we get 4x cubed plus 24x squared minus 20. And that's what we have right here is our dividend. Again, 4x cubed plus 24x squared minus 20.